You know, I had low expectations going in, but even those weren't met. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Ethan James. Today, we're going to be talking about the E3 EA Play Conference for 2019. And man, was this a drag. When you're going to show your entire itinerary for your E3 presentation ahead of time, days ahead of time even, you really do kill a lot of the excitement for the event. I can't see why you would feel like you needed to do a live stream event or host your own sort of venue for this if you're going to be telling everybody everything that you're going to present. Now, I understand that you have to have some sort of you know, creative control, and that's the big, probably the biggest reason that most companies decide to have their own events off-site, is so that they can craft the narrative as, you know, to their liking. But at the same time, there was nothing in this event that I felt like anybody could not have gathered from, you know, a, a 15-minute summation video like the one I'm doing here. Uh, I suffered so you didn't have to, because really, this really, it was such a drag. The highlight was the Star Wars event, you know, that it was the, and it really was only the highlight because they actually showed a lot of gameplay. They, they had, you know, a good 15 minutes, almost half of their time slot was dedicated to showing gameplay. Whereas, every other game that they showed, Apex, Battlefield, FIFA, Madden, The Sims, it was with depreciating value each game that was shown in terms of gameplay to talking head time. There, there, you have to have a balance between showing us figures and mechanics and gameplay to talking head time. If the majority of your time is spent just talking to each other, people are going to tune out. I mean, I was act by the time FIFA rolled around, I was actually falling asleep. I was. I was nodding off in my chair because it was so boring, and I, first of all, have no interest in those games to begin with. I only really cared about Star Wars. Everything else was just, I was lukewarm at best or didn't care at all. And, but by the time they got around to FIFA, I was just, this, this is so miserable. Um, they showed off some stuff that I guess maybe fans of those franchises will find interesting. They did show some new maps for Battlefield. They talked about them going to the Pacific for the next uh, big expansion pack thing that they're going to do. Uh, so we're going to get the Pacific Theater. We're going to get the Japanese. You're going to see the Americans finally entering the war. Uh, it, but even then, it's Battlefield Five, and it's kind of this this weird alternate take on World War II uh, with their, you know, paraplegic one-armed females running onto the front lines. So, I already don't give a crap about that game. And then, you have Apex, uh, or Overwatch, slash Fortnite Lite, and the stuff they showed for that, I just, I don't care about that at all. And, but even then, they only showed this new character who does some, like, shield, some wall type of defensive mechanics, and I'm like, okay, that's kind of neat, and, but then as soon as they start showing that, they just cut away, and they just start going back to talking about art design and it was just it was the worst parts of an event like say blizzcon where you're like okay can you just show us stuff and stop with you know the philosophizing so not enough gameplay and then they had to throw in really cringy political stuff like they threw in that like feminist he for she garbage and they they spent like a a moment there with you know Trevor Noah from the Daily Show like what he, he didn't even play the game it, what he wasn't even doing anything that I think a fan would be interested in all he it was just he was there hey guys here's this kind of famous person that likes FIFA and uh, he happens to agree with our politics more than likely so here's Trevor Noah that was pretty cringy, but I would th just even as a video game fan, politics, all this other crap aside, it was just boring. It was just so boring. So, guys, my final grade for this was a C minus. Like it's not it's not the worst thing I've ever seen, right? I mean, Ubisoft's presentations have been historically cringy and terrible. This was just boring, and I think that's one of the biggest sins. You know, at least with Ubisoft, with the dancing clowns and all the singing and stuff, you can say it's at least entertaining, at least it's meme-worthy. This was just as milk toast and tepid an experience as you could possibly have had. And I'm just wondering why even bother like this if you're not gonna be creative. You know, you could have at least done something. Really, the majority of gamers, all they really care about is games. 
you're not showing off the games, people are going to tune out. And it, this isn't even something I would think that's good for your shareholders because they're just going to say, okay, so you're making stuff. Like, you got to put more stuff out there if you're going to do a live stream and make a big event of this. So that's it. That's my final grade, C minus. I really hope this doesn't set the precedent for the rest of this E3 because this is, oh, we're starting off on a bad foot here. But thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, if you look right over here in this area, I'm gonna have a couple links. I just did my Star Wars Fallen Order video, so that's gonna be linked here. And then uh, look forward to more E3 coverage coming up this week. I'm gonna be doing one for every conference and uh, you know maybe some on specific games that I was looking forward to in my most anticipated games video. So check out the links down below for other places that you guys can follow me and stay tuned guys because we're gonna have more e3 coverage coming up the rest of this week you guys have a fantastic day and i'll see you later